posted a video in like a long time. I'm sorry. I was just busy. But we're going to do a Jacob X reader. But I'm not going to use my name. I'm just going to use Claudia for the reader's name. But anyways, this is the introduction. So I'm going to just skip. Chapter 1. New Town, New Life. You slowly walk backwards away from the place you've called home for as long as you rem can remember. Remember, you adjust the strap of your travel bag. Your travel bag and you tell the first time you met and you turn away from the building. Stature. He had a comb over hair due with too much chill and a sharp look in his dark blue eyes, which are actually contacts. Also, listen, this is not my story. And I won't, if you want me to read the weird comments, then okay, but I'm not, so. Continue. <laughs> you turned towards Liam with a ch glare before rolling your eyes as you watched as he typed away in his on his phone. He was always working, even when he wasn't supposed to be. That's one of the many reasons you decided to move. He never paid any actual attention to you, and he hardly ever cared about about anything you did or got involved in. Well, that's a very socky person. <laughs> I know, I'll be, carry I'll be carrying out when I have kids. <laughs> you climbed into the car slowly as Liam hurried hurriedly got the car running as he rolled down the window staring at the new abandoned house the car booked bef bu booked before moving onward a soft breeze running through your loose hair you tighten your grip on your strap bag the car ride was silent and peaceful no disruption even if liam nearly crashed a car or two down the road once you arrived at the airport you got out quickly as did Liam password? He asked to check. You said opening the trunk, grab the handle of your suitcase phone. He asked, reaching into his pocket to get something. Of course, you said matter of fact, factly tapping your side pocket of your bag baggy jeans as you closed the trunk of the car. Liam nodded before he handed you a pair of steel keys. Woodside Avenue, make a right, take a left, can't miss it. He said, stated sternly, handing them to you. He pulled you in for an embrace once you nodded stuffly, stuffing the key into your coat pocket. The hug surprised you, causing you to ga gasp, taken aback. Okay, if this boy never really cared about you, why would you be hugging him? Sorry, I will make comments if you find them annoying, just let me know. He tightened his grip on you, bur burying his face into the crook of your neck he spoke i'm gonna miss you claudia he's whispered softly and sounded so sincere question mark your eyes were wide and brimmed with with tears liam i'm you were cut off by liam abruptly letting you go and giving you a short peck on on the cheek as his phone buzzed oh sorry claudia i gotta go he said as he backed up towards the driver's seat putting his phone to his ear you held back a sneer and glare as you gritted your teeth and said through your teeth, you said through your teeth, okay. Okay, that's too many teeth in that one sentence, but okay. And that's a run-on sentence, too. No problem. Liam didn't notice as he smiled and waved goodbye. Call me when you land, and on second thought, I'll call you. I'm having a 
business meeting yet. You cut him off as he turned with your stuff in your hand. With your yeah, okay. With your stuff in hand and trudged into the airport. You couldn't believe him. He had plenty of free time to do all of those things and he always chose the wrong times to do them. He turned back as you came to the line. <sighs> line filled with people in your Shoulders sagged in disappointment, seeing that Liam had already left. You definitely weren't calling him anytime soon. Well, good for you. Once you boarded the plane, you found your seat, and without anything else productive to do, you took out a book and began reading it as the plane began to move, signaling the flight has begun. Off the town of Forks, Washington. As you read, you felt the people on the plane disappear, melting away into a deep hit in your cup consciousness your book was an epic fantasy filled with romance adventure and mystery you were tracking through tunnels and abandoned buildings as if you were the main character you were whisked away into the arms of the evil yet extremely tempting arms of the antagonist and wanted nothing more but to take the young maiden off for himself you take be you then begin your epic, terrifying battle with a horrifying demon that was sent to destroy everyone. Oh, listen, I'm only reading this chapter because my storage can only take so much, and I'm worried that it might cut off in the middle of a chapter, and it usually doesn't save. Okay, continue. <laughs> oh, sorry for the many interruptions, and if I'm on its own. You almost could feel the pure agony the main char character felt after losing the love of her life to the rotten demon that killed him brutally. You left her charge as if she were using your own feet, as if you were running alongside her. You neared the powerful demon as as you and the female warrior raised your weapons high, jumping into the sky to deliver a swift blow down the middle. Down the middle, the demon turned in shock and horror, and your eyes widened as the face of your seat neighbor was slashed down. Okay, that doesn't really make any sense but okay you guessed sharply as you closed your book coming back to reality the people on your plane suddenly came back to your vision and none seemed to disturb you besides the gentleman next to you he was staring as at you as if horrified his hand on his forehead his face scrunched up as if he were just in his worst nightmare before waking up you looked at up at him relieved and with a sheepish smile before fully turning to the window in embarrassment as as he called for another seating arrangement you knew it could couldn't have been ruled due to him being completely fine and not in the least hurt besides you could have just spasmed suddenly and hit him in the face by accident oh that's what happened i was completely clueless although this, that scenario sounds even more embarrassing after what seemed like hours, you finally arrived at your destination, and you looked out the window. It was still mid-afternoon, but the sky had become cloudy, and the sun couldn't be seen. You took your bags from the luggage department and quickly got, <sighs> got out the airport to begin looking for a taxi. You finally spotted one after a half an hour. You smiled as he stepped. St stopped in front of you getting out the car thanks for stop stopping i appreciate it you said and the man only smiled kindly he was an adult around the same age as liam's late 20s he had blonde streaks in his jet black hair and pearly white teeth his eyes were natural blue and were soft compared to liam's stern ones he was pretty good looking and seemed like a nice guy he took your bags into the taxi's trunk and took your hand in this the name's Jonathan, he said with a small, small smile, but then he shrugged. But for you, call me John. You giggled, nodding and shaking his hand. It's nice to meet you. I'm Claudia. And that's how the whole conversation began as... That's whole, how the whole conversation began as you made your way into the cab. John sh shutting the door politely beyond behind you as he came to a stop you get out of the car and so did john well i've had a great time and thanks for talking to me i've i'm glad i met at least one person you chuckled as you held your your bag in your hand john shrugged with a smile i bet you'll meet plenty of nice good people a nice girly like yourself he said snickering 
Oh, it's almost done. Oh, okay. I'll just read the last few. You rolled your eyes with a smile before thanking him once more and heading up the stairs of your new home. John drove off with a screeching good luck and a cloud of dust left behind. You finally got your door open and looked around before sighing home, sweet home. The moment your bag hit the floor, you knew that your decision had sealed whatever fate that was planned for you, and you would never guess what it was. At the end of this chapter... I'm gonna vote it. Anyways, I'm gonna put the book link in the description. So if y'all want to read it on your own, you can. You don't have to listen to me. But I'm gonna make this a series. Anyways, bye!